I really don't know how to shoot this. I want to do a brief talk about crowns, but also the weird headdresses that are in the Smith weight deck. And I'm thinking about taking my cards to the local haberdasher today and asking him for, you know, what's the difference between a fez and a, and a turban? And, you know, what's uh, the difference between Dante looking type stuff and a, like, Russian headdress? Or, you know, is this Italian? It's Renaissance looking, isn't it? Or, and then like, or the burka. And this guy looking like Dante. <laughs> A kid growing up to be Dante in Florence. You know, wearing hoodies. And that's uh, almost Chicago. That could be Chicago in the 30s. This guy is almost Napoleon or Another, you know, it's cold outside. That guy's a little Frenchy. He's got a beret on. Or that's uh, getting into more, that's more of a headband, which I get into too. Here's a, headbands. Um, yeah, I'm not even getting into like the royalty crowns. Um, where, um... Oh, the headbands are probably up with the laurels. Yeah, people wearing laurels in the deck on their heads that we might not always think about. Then it goes to this guy's, like, got a toothache almost. And that's what uh, that guy's ha got a headband on. Then we are getting into hoodwinks. This guy is, I think of uh, John McEnroe or tennis, you know, victory. Also the uh, the Daytona 500 NASCAR. Shout out to NASCAR with that checkered flag, blindfolded headband. And well, I was gonna. Uh, I already answered myself. I guess it's going to be a handheld operation today and then thinking of crowns starting off with the ace of swords there and his crown when i see the hierophant i think of uh, robin wood's deck and how she made him wearing a mask how he's not looking at the his um accolades there justice wears a crown the emperor wears a colored crown, many jewels in his jewels in his crown. The star man, so the astrology symbols on on his kilt. There we go. She's a, wearing a crown. Lest we forget. He's got a crown. And she's got a crown. Or he. A crown of uh, flowers. If you're going to San Francisco. Make sure to wear flowers in your hair. She's got a crown. Moon crown. Another star woman. Crown. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Beelzebub has a crown, lest we forget. The crowns are enlightenment. Mikael has a crown. The hangman, he always turn when I see the, whoa, if it's on the floor, it's through the door. One of my favorite cards, the hangman. But, you know, I think of the hangman whenever I see temperance upside down. She's enlightened. 
He's got a crown on. Now it won't focus. Sun crown. There we go. And then, are these crowns? The Luminesque, the Figure Eight, the Infinity, Enlightened. And to round this all out, I am still meditating on from yesterday with my VR to Jeff on the Magician. This is going to be forever in my memory, the, if you will, Dark Magician. He's a, or she, this is another Andronicus. Androgyny. You don't know if it's male or female, or I don't, but I'm tending to think, or sometimes it will appear in readings as an alchemist doing um, research, Crowley's the, the Art of Science and the Aim of Religion definition. So that was my little study in headdress, crowns, enlightenment, meditation, kether. Apollo was known for wearing uh, laurels. Laurel is victory, honor. But, yeah, that's uh, an idea that I would, uh, and did I really go, I didn't really show all the different headdresses. When you take a look at them, they're, they're really, uh, it's enough for a, a, a paper. I think it's a good topic. The different types of um, chapeaus that people wear in the tarot. I mean, there's got to be a name for this hat. One of my favorite cards. The Wish Wish card. And it's Renaissance. But look how that thing sticking out feather resembles the the laurels hanging on the ace. Ow! I'm sorry. Ow! Oh, where's the ace? Oh, I can't find it. Damn it! I... Here it is. And the, almost a cloud. It re resembles a cloud. That's where it popped into my mind. So, I don't know. That's my little meditation for the day. And now I'm off to, now I'm off to acupuncture. I'm going to go light today. Just uh, five in both ears. Third eye, crown, probably five in my head. And... Then I have meditation group at 11 and the red road at one. And in between that time, I'm going to try to fit in a haircut. But I am growing my hair long. So make it a good day. And I'll see you online. Ciao.